But welcome to another PLB Landed Home Tour Series. We are in the D20 areas. And if you're in the market looking for a landed free whole home that's below the $3.5 million buck, that's within one kilometer to two schools as well as MRT station, definitely do follow us as we bring you along this home tour. Let's go. Before we head on in, we also want to touch a little bit about the road that is located outside, especially if you're choosing to invest in a landed home as well. So currently, it's a plain grey area road over here. There isn't any single white line in the middle. So this means that it allows you to park cars just right outside your home. And as mentioned, we are also located in the cow de zone. So this allows for some privacy as well as some areas for your friends and family to park their cars when they're visiting you. So let's head on in and have a look at the place. Just an introduction on the land size, we are currently sitting at a land size of 1,112 square feet. Now the width is about 4.5 meters with a depth of roughly around 23 meters. So that will give you a roughly a bit of area of 1,600 square feet internally. So the front part of the home is definitely where the car porch area is located. Now with the current size, you can park a mini sedan that's located in this portion with your car porch gate enclosed. Maybe you have a larger or more luxurious SUVs, you can place them outside the home. As the current state right now, the owners have done it as they are gardening areas. And for this space, you can also put up your shoe carpentry space as well as a motorcycle and a couple of bikes as well. Roofing has also been done up over here. So a little bit of weatherproofing, especially when you park your cars inside your home. So over here, it would then be leading you towards your living and dining room space. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so coming into the home, we just want to show you guys the layout of the entire home. So we are currently in a two and a half story landed. Now level one will give you your living, your dining room space, your good size kitchens, your WC on level one, as well as your yard area space towards the back. Now level two will then provide you with your master rooms as well as common rooms. So over there you will find also two bathrooms located in that portion. Now your top floor will be then be your attic level, which is also can be done up as your study room space as well. So currently on level one, we are standing on where the communal area is at. So this is the living room areas. So the span width of this we have just measured is around 4.2 two meters for wall to wall so this provides a very good space for you to enjoy some family times especially when you're watching your TVs over here. Now just to also highlight is that the owners have also done up privacy screens on this flooding door over here so this allows for a lot of natural light to come into the space allow you to see what's happening outside your home while also having a sense of privacy as well. That's why they upset. Diamonds on me, you know it's baguettes. Yeah, Falling so hard, man, I need me a rep. Uh -huh. If you ain't no time, then you can't let. Yeah, Love in the past, ain't got no regrets. So moving back, we also will then be greeted with a large size dining room space located over here. So you can fit a six-seater dining tables. In these areas, you also do have a space to fit in your piano set. And you can also do up as a study area or a bookshop area located in this portion. Stepping into the next portion of the home, you will then have your WC located over here. So this is a WC that our owners have also done up and improved during their renovation space. So this is a full-fledged common bathroom with attached showers, WC, as well as your sink area. So this will also service your guests as they're coming on over here when they're visiting your home. Now coming back to this space over here, you have a massive size kitchen space for all your cooking needs. So you have a dry kitchen counter tabletop located in this portion here with a sink area as well as carpentry space down right below. Your carpentry space has also been done up towards your cooker hot portion over here as well as your fridge space and your oven located down over here. And just to add on as well, if you choose to do up a wet kitchen space in the future, you will be delighted to know that we are running through city gas pipes as well. So for the kitchen area space, you can also choose to do up an informal dining area set which allows you to have a quick meals with your friends and families in this portion and also having a formal dining table set towards the living room areas. Now as we head on back, the yard area space will be located down here. You can choose to stack up your washer and drying machine down in these portions. So moving on to your yard area space at the back, you will then have an area that you can just do up your laundry space as well as hang your clothes right on top in this portion here. I almost have also done up a wet kitchen towards the rear portion. So if, let's say you really do need some heavy cookings, you can also choose to do up in this space. Make a home for two. Make a as we're heading on level 2, the staircase areas, you can also choose to do up glass railings located in this portion over here just to enhance some of the safety but also increase some of the natural light flowing into your space. So let's head on up.
So moving up to level 2, we will then be greeted with two bedroom spaces located in this portion over here. So let's explore the master room first, which is located on the left hand side. So master room space has a queen size bed that has been fitted over here as well as a U-shaped walking wardrobe space located in this portion over here. Now owners have also additional space to put up a baby pram as well as fit in a flat screen TV in this portion. Now the special thing about this level 2 layout is that it has also the enhanced WC that's located on level 2. So this means that the master room gets to enjoy its own bathroom private areas which is located in this portion over here. So the bathroom spaces will also come with rain showers, WC as well as naturally ventilated windows facing towards the front. Now the general direction of the home, the front portion will then be facing towards the southeast portion while the back faces towards the northwest portion. So we will have an extra WC that's located in this portion of here. You also can choose to enhance the space by pulling the water pipings and adding additional rain shower areas in this bathroom as well because this bathroom will serve the guests located on the second common bedroom areas here. Now the second common bedroom area is also sizable because you can fit in a queen size bed as well as a couple of wardrobe spaces over here and it has their very unique attic level rooms that owners have added staircase up. So now let's head out and have a look at the attic space. On the current attic level space, our owners have done up as their own private study room areas. You can also choose to do up as your third common bedrooms by fitting in a queen size bed located in this portion here. You still have a space for a study desk and a couple of wardrobe spaces located right in the corner of this portion over here. Now we have come to the end of this home tour and I hope you have gotten a great look at the space. Now if you're looking for a D20 freehold inter terrace home that's below the $3.5 million mark, please do come by and have a look at this space. The, our listing manager's contact details are in the description box below. Also do remember to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok as well as YouTube channels. My name is Sean, Problem Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Home tour series, we are in D20 areas over here and we have got a car. We've got a ma massive car. <laughs> so as we move on back over here, we will also be then be greeted with... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we also be then be greeted with... So this portion over here... Oh man, I don't drink. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Restart! I'm loving you! <laughs> oh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I'm loving you! <laughs> I'm loving you! <laughs>